Hi, in this video, we'll show you how you can calculate NDVI, Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, using a Python Earth Engine API. So let's make sure that you have um, Google Earth Engine plugin installed. In my case, it's installed. So uh, I'll open a Python code editor here. And then the next thing is just I'll open my um, code my NDVI calculation code okay let's just drag this so that you have a, a larger window so you'll be able to look at what's going on here okay all right so um, in this script, what we're going to do is using a Python um, Earth Engine uh, Python API, uh, we'll try to load um, a Landsat uh, 8 satellite image and uh, write an NDVI uh, calculation function and then generate NDVI for some two years and then we'll make a difference um, uh, among this, uh, those two NDVI um, for those two years, all right? So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is import EE. That means import Earth Engine um, using a QGIS Python uh, code editor and also from Earth Engine plugin import map. So um, this will, uh, you know, get you up and running uh, um, on, on Earth Engine. Uh, Python API using QGIS. And the next thing is I'll try to install or just import um, a country's database, which is countries here, um, uploaded as an asset management on Earth Engine. And because it's a global data, I'll, I'll select Zambia. I'll declare variable Zambia and, and call uh, this countries and filter by, you know, country. And then the next thing is I'll write a function, which is diff uh, get NDVI. You can name this anything you want. This is just uh, the name of that function. And so my function, what it does is it just takes an image and then returns it into um, an NDVI, a normalized difference vegetation index. So a normalized vegetation index is you can, you know, Google that NDVI. Uh, according to Wikipedia, a normalized difference vegetation index um, is a simple graphical indicator that can be used to analyze remote sensing measures. So it's um, a combination of um, the near infrared and the red band here. Um, so NDVI is the NIR near infrared minus red um, over near infrared plus red for any you know satellite sensor. This is a formula. And technically what it does is it just kind of, um, um, you know, magnifies vegetation, the greenness of vegetation cover. So if it's a healthy vegetation, it will give you a higher values. And if it's um, a stress vegetation, it will give you a lower value. That, that NDVI usually ranges from, um, you know, minus one to one, but mostly for healthy vegetation, you know, from zero to one, right? Okay, so... Um, and so we have written our NDVI function here. And so the next thing is to load a Landsat image uh, from the Earth Engine library. Um, so I'll uh, write, um, I'll declare a variable called image one for the first image. And this is ee.image uh, collection. Um, so um, I'll need to write the image collection ID for the Landsat and uh, I'll filter it by date here um, and for this um, example I'll be using um, 2014 here I'll filter I'll use filter date and then I'll define it Janu um, January 2014 to December 2014 and the second image oh let me drag this here so the second image is I'll name it image 2 
and this is for actually Landsat 8 but a different date so 2019 so the first one is 2014 and uh, the second one is 2019 so that means I'll be uh, loading um, um, a Landsat satellite image Landsat 8 data for 2014 and 2019 a five year gap um, the reason I do this is because I'm computing NDVI for those two years I just want to compare at least you know five year difference makes sense right so now I'll, I have a function already here and I'm um, imported image collection a Landsat image collection um, and what I will do next is apply that um, NDVI function here get NDVI all right so my function here which uh, turns an image into an NDVI right so image one so that means 2014 Landsat image and NDVI2 is equal to I'll um, call my function here and uh, input my second uh, Landsat image collection which is 2014 right so now um, this will uh, calculate NDVI for 2014 and NDVI for 2019 and the next thing is we can also make um, a calculation subtraction of the uh, second um, uh, NDVI values from the first um, and if you get um, some positive value there would there would be an increase in vegetation if you get a negative value there would be a, a decrease in vegetation cover uh, and then also write some sort of color in, in visualization parameter here uh, so that I'll, I'll look at it here on the map canvas um, so I'll um, plot both the NDVI 1 and NDVI 2 that means uh, NDVI 2014 and 2019 and also the NDVI difference that shows me any change um, in NDVI over those two years those five years right so now our script is ready let's uh, run uh, let's execute this program okay perfect so now um, ours engine uh, so I'm running technically uh, ours engine Python API um, in um, in a, a QGIS environment right so let me just drag this a little bit so that we can look at the image here I'll zoom into layer it's not um, you know displaying that much so let me just go and um, you know drag that okay perfect so here it is so one of the things that you can do is just you may modify that um, map center object zoom in so that um, you'll have a little bit you know better visualization um, when you change the center object visualization co code it will give you something um, a little better it just changed technically the zoom in level for that image so that you'll be able to look at it okay perfect now 12 um, seems to uh, do uh, you know the magic here and I can you know zoom in and zoom out um, I actually need to this pan um, pan button and then zoom out a little bit it's, it's a Landsat data so it takes a little bit time okay perfect so now let's just remove everything all right so now NDVI 1 is so my NDVI uh, for 2014 here and then if I add NDVI 2 that means NDVI values for 2019 right and the other one is um, NDVI difference over those two years right so this is technically how you can um, you know generate a normalized difference vegetation index um, using a Python code editor in a QGIS environment by accessing the Earth Engine Python API uh, using the Earth Engine uh, QGIS plugin.